All right, let's pray. Close your eyes, lay your heads. Lord, thank you for this day, and I pray, Lord, that you'll bless the teaching today and bless the games later on. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, no, 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 we say amen properly, okay? Amen. Say amen. Okay, good. All right, do any of you remember what we did last week? Oh, maybe you're not paying attention. If what was the second rule? Pay attention. All right, you need to pay attention. You need to try and remember what we did last week. What did we do last week? You want a hint? Something about lamentations. Yeah, something about lamentations. You're right. It was from lamentations. Oh, good. See, the pictures right help remind you, don't they? See, sometimes even if you do wrong, we have a second chance with God, don't we? Can we read this together? You ready? You ready, Sarah? Stop playing with your hair. Okay, you ready? Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22 and 23. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Ah, and that's a good reminder, isn't it? That we get a second chance. Always get a second chance with God. Aren't we grateful for that? Get a second chance? Yes? Yes, that's right. That's where the song comes from. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. See, this is the verse that inspired that song. Very good time. All right, today though, we're going to be talking about a land given by God. <laughs> where is that coming from? Well, it's coming from our memory verse this week. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 28. And ye shall dwell in the land, look at this, that I gave to your fathers. See, that's where I'm getting the title from, a land given by God. And ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. This verse is a verse that's talking about one day. You know, yes, there will be a time when the Israelites back in those days went back into their land. But in the future, this is prophetic. What does prophetic mean? Prophetic means it's talking about also things that are going to happen in the future. In the future, there's going to be a land that we will dwell in with God as well. Isn't there? Let's read it together. You ready? Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 28. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people and I will be your God. Oh, wouldn't that be a great place? Isn't it? And God is not only our God in heaven, but he's actually a God for us on earth as well. He's ruling on earth as us too, so we look forward to that day where we'll be living with Jesus Christ on the earth. Now, who likes this place that they live now? Who likes this world that they live in now? Put your hand up if you like this world that we live in now. Oh, Abel likes it. Simon likes it. No, you guys don't like it? Atticus likes it? Oh, now you're looking around to see who else is putting their hand up to see if they like it. Maybe you like it if somebody else likes it. <laughs> There's some nice things in this world to enjoy, isn't there? Oh, what's this? Oh, maybe you're hungry this morning. Lucky you got a little bit to eat. Some nice... What's this? What's this, Sarah? Hamburgers and chips. Yeah, that's really tasty, isn't it? See, in this world... You get to enjoy some nice things, don't you? You get to enjoy some nice food. What else? Oh, this one. <laughs> Timothy. Some toys. Some toys. Oh, I know. Kids are into these ones right now, aren't they? Transformer toys. So you get some nice, some things in this world you can enjoy. Oh, what about other things? They're not food or toys. Sarah, what's this? Rainbow. Who likes rainbows? You like, rain you like rainbows? Yeah? I mean, put your hand up if you like rainbows. You like rainbows? Put your hand up. It's like this. Hand not working. Hand's broken. Jeremiah's hand's broken. <laughs> Good. You guys like rainbows. I like rainbows too. Sometimes when you see a rainbow, oh, isn't it a 
a beautiful sight. Okay, it reminds us. You know, not only is it a beautiful sight, you know what it reminds us of? It reminds us of God's wrath. Remember when he flooded the earth? And he said, hey, excuse me, no talking. Sit down, please. Don't disturb Atticus. Atticus is paying attention. He's good. You pay attention. All right? It's also a reminder, isn't it? A reminder when God flooded the world, he put the rainbow. He said the rainbow in the sky is now going to represent that he won't flood the earth again. So it's a good, good reminder of God's promise, isn't it? But, you know, what else is there to enjoy in this world? What's that, Simon? Family. Family. You guys like your family? You like mum and dad? Hopefully you like mum and dad. <laughs> so you get to enjoy some company, not only family, but maybe friends as well. Hey, some good things to enjoy in this life, isn't there? But this world... It's not perfect, is it? Even though sometimes there's some nice things, there's some imperfect things about this world. What are some imperfect things about this world? What do you think, Sarah? Hospital? Yeah, what about hospitals? Hospitals are a good thing, but what about hospitals? Surgery? Surgery is a good thing too. What's bad? Me? Yeah. Death. Death? Yeah, well, I don't think this person's dead yet, but maybe they're getting there. But yeah, you know, people, they get sick, don't they? They get sick and they have health problems. There's a lot of imperfect things in this world, isn't there? What else? Oh, maybe no one knows this one. Noah, you know what's happening here? What happened here? What happened? What happened? You remember? Yeah, your leg hurts. What happened? What happened, Timothy? Hey, she got angry. Why is she angry though? This is a hint here. What's happening here? Huh? Simon. Yeah. Sometimes there's pain in this world. Accidents. Well, you might break a bone. Pain. Sometimes there's sickness. We talk about sickness. Pain. Whoops. What about this one? Oh, this one. Mateo. Yeah, there's death in this world as well. So even though there's nice things in this world, it's not perfect, is it? It's not a perfect world. It's not a sinless place. Right? It's death in this world. There's suffering. There's illness. Who can, who can think of some other bad things that happen in this world? Can anyone else think of something, Timothy? Murder. Yeah. See, there's sin in this world where people hurt other people. Can you think of one? Adultery. So this world is far from perfect, isn't it? But isn't it nice to know one day God's going to make all this new. One day there's going to be a world with no sin, no pain, no sorrow, no crying. Isn't that, isn't that a place you want to be? See, God's prepared that place for us. It's a land that's given by God. But how do we make sure we get there? How do we make sure we get there? Atticus. Jesus died for us. What do we have to do to make sure that we can get to this perfect place given by God? What do we have to do? Believe, in him. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You're right. We're all sinners, don't we? we? We take part sometimes in some of these things, but we're affected by it too. You know? But God has prepared a land for us. But we need to make sure we can get there. How do we get there? We need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. If we don't, then we won't be able to go to that place because that place is a perfect place. But if we believe on Jesus, his perfection will be applied to us. Okay? So, what's our memory verse? Ezekiel. Let's read it together. You ready? Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 28. I want everyone reading it. Nobody's reading it with me. Ready? Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 28. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. Oh, I look forward to that place. Who looks forward to that place? I look forward to that place. All right. Okay, we got some games here this morning. I'm going to organize some games. Let's stand up.